What we see is really a professionalization of the attacks um, and one, one effect is that we have seen in the last six months really the biggest data breaches, um, the, the biggest DDoS attacks which uh, uh, impacted uh, major websites etc. So uh, attackers get more sophisticated um, and the attacks have bigger impacts. Um, that's on the attack side. In terms of legal and regulatory uh, developments, we see, especially in Europe, many changes coming up with the NIST directive being implemented and the GDPR. Mm -hmm. So that has an impact also of companies and how they, you know, how they um, act in this environment. And um, on the good side of things, I would say people and companies are much more aware that cyber is a, is a real risk for them and they implement that into their risk thinking and into their frameworks now. Here yeah, I would say that there are two main components to that. One is the measurability of cyber risks and um, that is in, in the past has been very poor I would say. Um, the ability of companies to actually come up with numbers and then report them also up to their boards and executive teams. So the CRO Forum is doing there some great work in terms of categorization of cyber risks and uh, also you know, management then and, and measurement. And um, on the other hand, I think the, um, the trend goes away from pure information sec security towards cyber resilience, mm -hmm. where you basically look holistically at the um, enterprise risk that cyber is and um, you prepare also for the worst case and to be able to then bounce back to, to you know, the, the safe state after something has happened.